least an hour and a half, right? I like to take a moment and recognize the dignitaries who are in support of Jeff Burrell. I just start with the Honorable Elton Gallagher. Ventura County Treasurer Stephen Hintz. Ventura County DA Mike Bradbury. Ventura County Community College Trustee Diane McKay. Camarillo Vice Mayor Bill Little. Fillmore City Council Member Steve Conaway. Fillmore City Council Member Diane McCall. Fillmore City Council Member Rick Neal. Fillmore School Board Trustee Virginia De La Piedra. Former Oxnard City Council Member Andres Herrera. Former Fort Wayne Mayor Tony Volante. Former Trustee of Oxnard High School District Dick Yaquez. Former Ventura City Council Member Sandy Smith. There he is. And I am Mayor Parvin from the City of Moore Park. Okay, so how many of you feel that Washington is broken? Raise your hand. Well, the people of this community, like most Americans, are fed up with this intrusive government and partisan gridlock. Now more than ever, Washington is in need of leadership. I know Assemblyman Jeff, Jeff Burrell. He's a leader and he gets things done. Jeff is dedicated to protecting our country from terrorism overseas and our communities from crime here at home. It's not just words. If you know Jeff, you know he lives it. He has fought for us in Afghanistan twice. He has served as Deputy District Attorney prosecuting major narcotic traffickers and violent felons. As a legislator, Jeff has earned the respect of our community because he puts people ahead of politics. How often does that happen anymore? His ideas and his vision have commanded the respect of our state's highest officials. And since 2006, Jeff Gurrell has educated our next generation of leaders as a member of the faculty at California Lutheran University. And Jeff is a former small business owner. He's a job creator who will fight to reduce government bureaucracy and lower the federal tax burden on our families and small businesses. I'm, I gotta clap for that one. Our nation is now in $17 trillion in debt. Jeff, we know, is a deficit hawk who will work to protect Americans from government abuse and bring fiscal responsibility back to the federal government. Jeff Burrell is the kind of leader we need. He can break the gridlock in Washington and restore common sense leadership to Congress. Let's send a Navy commander to Washington, D.C. Please join me in saluting and supporting the next member of the House of Representatives from California's 26th Congressional, Mr. Jeff Gurrell. Thank you, everybody. Um, Thank you, Mayor Parvin. I'm honored to call you and Dale friends and supporters. I truly am. Great to see so many friends here. Um, and welcome, everyone. I'd like to introduce my family first. This is uh, my wife, Laura. Uh, my daughter, Ashley. Uh, my son, Jack. And we're not doing a very good job of keeping secret. We got a, a baby boy coming in two and a half weeks. 2014 will be a blessed year. 
Uh, thank you for being here today, friends, family, supporters. I have been honored to serve you and this community in various uh, various capacities over the last number of years. Seven years as a deputy district attorney, prosecuting major narcotics and serious and violent felonies. As a local business owner and an advocate for small business. As an educator, since 2006, I've been on the faculty of Cal Lutheran Uni University where I teach public policy and politics. As a state legislator, I've served this community now for four years as a state assemblyman with a record of getting things done. I've earned a 100% vote record from California Chamber of Commerce, 100% vote record from Caltax, but I also showed the ability through leadership and time and time again I showed the ability to track others from both sides of the aisle to support common sense reforms and my ideas. I'm also a third generation naval officer and have been honored to serve in that capacity. I'm a two-time veteran of the war in Afghanistan and I continue to serve today as an intelligence officer, executive officer of a Navy Reserve Unit. And in June of this year, I'll be proud to raise my hand and be promoted to commander in the United States Navy Reserve. And I've also had an opportunity to serve as a community volunteer as a proud father and a husband who cherishes this community I wanted to make it I wanted, wanted to work to make it a better place for my kids and your kids I've served as a volunteer as a vice chairman of the board of directors for American Red Cross I've raised money with the Boys and Girls Club I've helped raise money for disabled veterans on various veterans groups like the commander of uh, military order of world wars and VFW so I've had an opportunity to serve this community in a number of different ways, but I'm very excited to stand here before you today and tell you that as of this morning, uh, I am now an official candidate for the 26th Congressional candidate, uh, Congressional Di uh, District of California. Thank you very much. I'm running for Congress because I feel our nation in many ways is headed in the wrong direction. And our community in this country will face extraordinary challenges in the near future. And we need a champion, not just somebody who has the title and wears the pin, but we need a leader and a champion to represent this community. We have a $17 trillion debt. We are borrowing against our children's future. We cannot ignore this, and we cannot continue to allow this to happen. Furthermore, it's time that Washington begin to return to respecting the U.S. Constitution and its limitations on government. Our government seems to make decisions irrespective of the U.S. Constitution rather than with respect for the U.S. Constitution. Thank you. I grew up a fairly simple middle class life, a son of a naval officer. I lived on military bases all over the world. And what I've seen is that Americans uh, must be worked must work to be free from the intimidation and the influence of big anything. Whether that's big business or big labor or big government, there are too many big things that are gaming the system in Sacramento and in Washington, D.C., and we need somebody, we need to send somebody to Sacramento who will represent the people and put people above politics. America is different than Europe. And we must fight to preserve that distinction. But we must also work hard to ensure the great promise of America. And that is that all Americans are not guaranteed the same outcome, but that all Americans should have access to the same opportunity. And that we, regardless of where we are from or what we look like, that we will have that opportunity. And all of us should never rest on our laurels while paving the way for such opportunity for all Americans. Unfortunately, on the international level, our enemies no longer fear us, and our allies no longer trust us. We must forge alliances, and we must be relentless and unapologetic in our efforts to cripple terrorism before terrorism strikes Americans again. It's appropriate that we are gathered here today in front of this Veterans Memorial here in Thousand Oaks, because if it wasn't for the veterans that went before us that fought and served and sacrificed, we wouldn't have the ability to congregate here today. I wouldn't have the opportunity to ask you for your vote, and you wouldn't have the right to cast that vote. 
but for their service and sacrifice. So it is, it's a distinct honor, and we must honor their service and sacrifice now and forever. You may have seen this week uh, that the Department of Defense released budget cuts, um, including massive cuts to our troop levels, cuts in health care for veterans, active and reservists, and they announced that a BRAC, a base realignment and closure, is scheduled for 2017. Um, Navy Base Ventura County has been on that BRAC list, it was on it 10 years ago, it was on it 10 years before. It is almost guaranteed that Navy Base Ventura County will be on that list for consideration again in 2017. And if you've seen other communities throughout California who have suffered a base closure, communities like Hunters Point or Long Beach, Alameda, Mare Island, these communities now suffer from blight. Their economies have dipped, unemployment's gone up, crime has gone up, property values have gone down. We cannot, we cannot allow that to happen to this community. Navy Base Ventura County is not only a, a hub, and a base for our economy locally, but it is a national security asset that we must fight for. Our community has grown up around these bases since World War II. In fact, my grandfather, who was a CB in the Pacific in World War II, came back through Port Wanimi on his way home. Um, there are 19,000 jobs currently associated with Navy Base Ventura County. Contractors, active duty, reservists. We need a champion to stand up and unite the community behind defending these bases and these 19,000 jobs. Not just simply an, an effect, effective uh, an elected official, but a champion, a true leader who can communicate with the military and civilians, who can unite Republicans and Democrats, who can unite business and labor, the East County, West County, somebody who can unite the community to defend these bases. I intend to prove to you and, this, and the rest of the voters in the 26th Congressional District that I am that leader. If given the opportunity to represent this community in Congress, I will prove to you that it is possible for your representative to put people above politics. I will show you that you can be proud of your elected officials and not disappointed. And I will be the champion that this, this community absolutely needs and absolutely deserves. My commanding officer in Afghanistan, uh, Colonel uh, Dave Burton, he used to say, Lead the fight from the front or get out of the way. Today, ladies and gentlemen, this campaign begins. I need every one of you to help and your support. I need your vote. But please know I am out front. Please know that I am prepared to lead. With your support, we will win this one. Thank you very much, and God bless. Watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for.